Hey, hey, YouTube. Thank you for checking out the channel, but I'm basically just coming in today to just give you all an update of some stuff that's going to be coming toward the channel. Let me go ahead and get some more light on. But it's been one of those long days. A lot of driving, a lot of traveling. I did about a nine-hour road trip, round trip. So I drove about four and a half hours down, met a guy, picked up a roller that you see back there. On the way up through, I stopped about an hour and a half up the road, picked up another roller. Then I got home, got online, saw a good deal, ordered a frame. So we got plenty of things coming to the channel, plenty of more content. We're going to just go over what I picked up and exactly what's here and all this mess and go from there. We have something here that's actually pretty, pretty much done, but... It's not for this video, so we're not even going to really show it and discuss it. So let's go ahead and get the camera flipped around and talk about what we picked up. So our first piece of material is this roller right here. Now let me be the first to explain to you, it did not come with this wheel and tire setup. I know the wheel and tire setup that I had on there was complete trash, and I just didn't want it to just sit here on flats. So it came with these, what year are these? 04 wheels. I mean, they look real good. The wheels I'm going to keep. The tires are the original Dunlops, but you see here, it's all plugged up and there's slime coming out when I filled them up. So we're going to dismount those, throw those in the trash, keep the wheels. I think the other one is over here in pretty much similar condition. And even if it's not all holed up, I'm pretty sure it is. This one might be holding there. But it's crazy dry rotted. I mean, it's it's dry rotted pretty significantly, I think. Well, maybe not. Well, I might keep it if it's not dry rotted. I need to take a look at it real good. But what I did do is go ahead and get these wheels that I had. These are the Sun F clones that I was going to be using on my uh, 99 build that I was doing. We all know the 99 build kind of came to a halt. But with the new con new stuff that i purchased it won't be so these are the wheels that i had before i had just recoated those i took them off the wheels that were it was already on and i put those in the stripper reason being is because these are the true 99 wheels it's 99 there and as you see you know i just wanted to keep the true 99 wheels on this and these are powdered with the golden ticket like I said, the rears, I've got junk everywhere, I'm sorry, where these here, they're kind of, you said super heavy. Uh, these are dry rotted and cracked up. Uh, some ITP steel wheels, I won't be using those. Probably dismount the tires, take them to the tire shop to get rid of those. These are some steel blaster wheels, just junk. But I got some tires that I got to get dropped off at first. Uh, let's see, we're here. We have the roller, which has a clear frame, clear then it is a 2000 model so it's the one that's going to be red i'm going to do this one a little bit more custom so this one's going to have some extended arms on it it's going to have just some standard travel shocks nothing crazy the rear end is going to be the same maybe widen it out i'm going to probably run some album beat locks or something like that to make it look good keep the colors of the 2000 but make it a little bit more custom and not so stock it did have a wiring harness on it. This looks like a, I'm wanting to say it's a, it's a, just a round plug harness. Oh, down through here. So if, maybe if that looks good, I'll reuse it. Keep it for something else. I'm gonna take the shocks off here in a couple days and get those sent out to Ben and get those rebuilt. Does have a radiator on it, but the radiator is pretty beat up and I'm not gonna mess with this. Too many, too much damage. So it's gonna come off and go over there with the other one that I say has too much damage. But I do have two other ones in the house. I think this one came with this radiator as well. I had an extra radiator that came with it. I don't think this might be the one, but we'll see. But I know I have a new one in the house, and I have another nicer one in the house. Everything else is just basically here. As I said, VIN number is down here. It is painted over. Not really stressed over that. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten that's a y that 10th digit is a y making it a 2000 so 
We're gonna do our work with this and do our magic on this one and get this one looking good. So yeah, I got that one with the radiator. I got a clutch side cover. You see, this is the other stuff that I got. I got a good air box lid, just dirty. Got a clutch side cover when I was there. I got some OEM carburetors with the slides and everything, and also with the towards delete. We got the OEM brake perch with cables. And I think that's it that we got for that machine there. So that, that was that. The other machine we're gonna be looking at right now, we're gonna go ahead and fruit the camera too. It is a 2006 roller that had extended arms that I'm gonna reuse on that one. But let's flip it around and take a look. All right, so here we are with this one. It also comes with the gas tank and the OEM valve. You don't want the Chinese valves that hang down. They stick out like a sore thumb. It does come with the OEM wiring harness with the tours, some headlight buckets. So I'll still need to buy some lenses and things like that, but the buckets and things are here, so that's a good start. But I think, if I'm not wrong, over there, you see that? Those are some headlights that I have. So I already have 06 lights, so we should be good to go with that. It does come with a slew of other parts, front bumper, rear bumper, plastics. The plastic is going to go for sale. It does have some foot pegs with it. We have in this box the rear shock, hubs. Looks like a OEM throttle. Exhaust mount set. You know, I'll toss out. Nothing big deal. Some bolts, axle nut. Just random hardware that he's had. I'll probably enough I'll just more than likely I'll ditch I might probably try to sell these shocks clean them up a little bit you know, I'll decide on that later on which which route I'm going to go with these shocks here with the rear one when I send out the other one I'm going to go ahead and send it out too and get it rebuilt rear hubs we have the wishbone and a master cylinder. He said all this stuff is going to look brand new once I get it into the vapor blaster. And I guess some powder coat on that. But there's a good start there. Over in this box, we have a... Let's see what we got in here. Cases. We got a bottom end transmission crank. And... We're good to go with that. I enjoy that kind of stuff when you see it. Here. Let's have some reeds. Kind of came apart. We've got some V-Force 3s. OEM head. Pistons. Wiseco cylinders. With cylinders, Wiseco pistons. It's in that box. This box is pretty much all the other parts that you need to close up the other side. Clutch side, cover, clutch basket, clutch, and we got, you know, the kicker and the kicker lever. And we've got a whole bunch here. So this was already a roller in the beginning, though, and the guy took it down, and I actually got it from my buddy who I did the 93 on, so it was already together as a roller. And the plan was for me to get this frame, and we were going to blast it and powder coat it. So we switched things up, and we're going to be some, a couple things differently. This one's mine now, and then he's going to actually be having something different as well. So that's where we're at. So we're going to be doing a 06. We're also going to be doing a 2000. Then, for those of you who had remembered, I got that 99. Got all those parts and I got everything powder coated for the most part. And then the frame was twisted. I didn't know it until I set it on the ground. That was kind of like, it was winter. It is winter and it was super cold outside. So I was starting to do all the little parts that I could do. And I got all the little parts done and I was like, oh shoot, it's a nice day. I took the frame out, blasted the frame, powder coated the frame, set it on the ground and it was not level and it, it was twisted. That's just what it was. So I didn't know it until I had all the stuff that's already back here done. So all this has already been powder coated and set up and ready for a 99. So yeah, that's just about it. We're just, now we just need the frame, which I bought another frame. 
with a title. So once this one's gone, and you all know what it is by the wheels probably, once it's going to be gone, we're going to be then building the 99, getting it gone. Then we'll be doing the 2006, getting it gone. Then we'll be getting the 2001 or 2000, getting it gone. So I got a couple months worth of stuff ahead of me. So I'm hoping each month I'll be able to come out with another Banshee month, or maybe a month and a half or six weeks. Life gets busy, so I don't want to only be in here because I have a family. You know, all this stuff is fun and dandy, but I got I got a family, so I got to do that kind of stuff too. <laughs> so the family's first. I, I don't want shit to say it like that. But then I also got my Raptor back here that I need to get done, and I'm going to be sending one of these pistons off here. This is my Raptor 700. I got two bottom ends, and w both my pistons have some play in them, or my, my cranks. So... We're going to get this one taken apart, get that one taken apart, get them broke, broke down, powder coat some parts, blast some things, and post whatever else back online for sale. But, yeah, we got some stuff cut out ahead of us. We got this 421 sitting right here with the Assassin's Top End that we're going to get broken down. So we got plenty of stuff coming up. So just uh, share this content, enjoy this content, like it. And, you know, we'll help this channel grow and get it going bigger. I do have a lot of people reaching out, asking me a lot of questions, a lot of information. So, you know, share this out to your friends if you enjoy this kind of content. All right. So I'm not sure if I closed out the video, but if I did, I'll try to cut that section out. So if there was an abrupt stop before this, sorry, we're back. So what I do want to do is get the rollers kind of put together so we're in a better position to see what things are going to look like once we get, you know, everything installed. So for right now, what we're going to do is flip the camera around. I keep looking at the roller sitting right here. We're going to flip the camera around and just talk about the basic layout of what we're going to be doing with this 2000. So we're going to go from there. All right. So here she is. We have her sitting all out here. Basically, we're going to just do some stuff and nothing horrible. These upgrades aren't going to be a whole, whole bunch for me because I'm already powdering it, but we're going to do some. So first off, the 2000 has a very nice red and white color scheme. I really kind of like how the seat is on it and everything, but these wheels are on there just for mock-up purposes. Stock wheels in the back are still, I'm wanting to say eight inches, nine inches, whichever or, but these ones are eight inch wide and they are plus five. So they stick out further and three so if you'll see five inches are on this side of the plate and then there's three inches on the other side on the inside so more shallow mouth in there these are five inches up front and it's plus two and then three in the back i'm wanting to say so they stick out a little bit more i'm not going to run that so what i'm going to do when i get the other wheels is i'm going to run the wide offset in the rear and this front is already offset with the, um, I think it's plus two front A-arms. So what we're going to be doing is going one and four. So they go in just a smidget because I don't want any kind of like bumps here being way out. And I kind of think they look a little tacky sometimes when you have the ball joints and all that sticking out. Now remember, this is a narrow tire. We're not going to run that kind of tire on here either. The front shocks, we are going to have those replaced. I'm pretty sure that those are going to either be red or white. The frame is probably going to be red. I'm thinking I'm going to do the arms white or silver. Swing arm is going to be white or silver. I'm going to have the white plastics and then the standard graphic on top. It's going to have some bead locks on it. That's my plan, which is going to be white and red. Motor is going to be a stock looking motor with probably a DMC Alien exhaust, which is going to be Cerakoted black. Or it's going to be Cerakoted white and it's going to have the custom silencer design on the back. Uh, brake block off, chain sprocket, all that stuff. We already have the gas tank handlebars. It's going to be the factory style bars on there, which is a 2000. This is 2001. So I think I have other bars in there that we'll be running on that one as well. So that's just the plan for what this is going to look like. Nothing's in the line. Nothing looks good. Everything is just on there just for it to be a roller. Why did I decide to go ahead and put these tires back on it? Is because this is the last one we're going to be doing. Hopefully the heater isn't too loud because I'm outside, but. We have the 95 that we're going to be finishing up hopefully this week. Then after the 95 is done, we're going to have the 99, which is hopefully the frame is going to be delivered in the next three or four days. Once that frame is delivered, I'm going to be getting it blasted and getting it powder coated. And then once that's powder coated, we're going to be getting the 90, 
nine wrapped up. So as you saw earlier in this video, I did have the gold wheels on here, but this is gonna be standing up in its back in the corner and there's no need to have it back there and then no one in about two or three weeks, I'm gonna to have to pull it back out and take the tires back off. So I went ahead and put these uh, Baja style wheels on there. So the 99 is gonna be what's next. Once the 99 is done, then we're gonna be doing the black SC06. Then after the black SC06, we're gonna be doing this more custom looking. The other ones we're gonna be taking back to close to stock. This one is gonna be the more custom of the ones that we're doing. So we have pretty much three more Banshees coming ahead of us. 95 we're doing, 99, 2006. Then we're gonna have the 2000. Also in between there, I have a custom J-Arm build that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be getting it into a roller for the most part and getting the motor put in it. Might not get it complete, but we're gonna be close to getting it done. Also, what we're gonna be doing is getting some other parts powdered for some other builds that we're doing. I might not post that inside of any kind of YouTube video, but I know I'll be taking some pictures and they'll probably be up on my Instagram if he's okay with that. So what we're gonna do is put this up in the corner and then talk about the plans for the other one. All right, so we're back inside and we're getting this thing stood up and it's gonna be in the corner, basically over top of those CPI pipes that I have over there. But I did throw it out and give it a good wash again. Like I said, the shock is off in the rear already and that's gonna be sent out to get it rebuilt. But we're gonna just flip, look at the frame. Like I said, I've been kind of obsessive about making sure I check these things out now, but we're gonna take a quick look. All right, frame straight up and down, no issues with it, looks good. Nothing all tore up. Nothing all rotted through or messed up or broken. So we're gonna have a good solid frame here when it's time to go. I am gonna go ahead and put some stripper on here just so I can get that VIN number for when I'm ready. Um, everything is gonna be good to go. But yeah, yeah. Like I said, this isn't how it's gonna look right now, this is just how it is. I mean, it's going to look similar, but a little bit different. In the corner we go. My, 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 how the tables have turned. So I'm not going to get all that footage over again. You all just going to learn along with me in this. But this one here, the plan has already changed just in the next, like, 10 minutes. I got the same outfit on, so not a whole, whole bunch has changed. But I went ahead and I got some aircraft remover. Strip my VIN. Got my VIN strip right there. And I come out and it is not a 2000. So I thought it was going to be a 2000 and uh, my plan has changed. This is not that. It is a, let me look at my poster here. It is a 99. Yeah, it's a 99. Why is that significant is <laughs> I jumped the gun, which I'm absolutely fine with. What I have is some rollers. I went and picked up this roller and this roller a few days ago. So this is pretty much a complete machine. I got my axle and everything I'm going to be putting on before the end of this video. Complete machine. And I've been saying I'm moving things around because of just convenience. So this one was a 2000, but this 99 was back in the corner with the Baja wheels on it because it was going to be last. This is the 2006. Over here, I have 2006 wheels that I have blasted that's gonna be getting powder coated black for the black 2006. Oh, I showed you this, this one's almost done. But all these parts over here on the floor, I ordered a frame for a 99 because the 99 was twisted. So now I have two 99 frames. Uh, so I'm gonna do two different ones. One's gonna be what we originally planned stock machine the next one i'm going to be deciding the colors but that's going to be down down the road we're going to be sticking i don't want to stick with the factory colors on these things so that you know what they are so this is going to be the purple um 95 if i would have kept it and sold it and i want to do something factory this is where we're going with it but if i want to do something that wasn't factory it was still going to have that lavender and yellow look to it the 96 would still have the yellow and red and 97 would have the red and yellow. I mean, 
I would like to keep those colors just so you can at a glance look at it until it is kind of made it up with the VIN number and what's going to be on the titles and stuff. But uh, yeah, got plenty going on, getting the shop straightened out. So in the next couple of days, this will be standing up in the corner as well. Then we're just going to be able to get um, the other projects that we have going, you know, get, get focused on those. So I could either take this frame that I have back there and blast it and get it powder coated but the one that's coming in the mail is going to be here in the next few days and then the question is 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 it going to be powder coated or is it going to be painted if it's painted purple it won't be really hard for me to blast them i'll probably blast them both at the same time and then work on my colors after that if it is blasted the only thing i get concerned about is the very first time i had a machine blasted the process didn't go exactly how i wanted i had it blasted and powder coated the first time I didn't really say much, but my VIN was powdered over. So when I went to sell the machine later on, I ended up having to strip some of the VIN. And then what I did was once I had it stripped and I could see the VIN number, I sanded it down to smooth out that, that divots because the powder can get thick. Then I taped a bigger area around that. Then I taped over the VIN so it was kind of like a window and I painted that black, put it all over and then put a coat of clear on it to seal that up. The second time I went to have something done, um, the VIN was taped off, but it wasn't the whole, it was taped off the whole process. So when it was all over with, it was just raw metal and it was some rattle can clear over it. I didn't like that either. What I typically like to do with them is tape it off, blast, make sure the VIN and everything doesn't get messed up. Then I go ahead and I powder over top of that then once it gels out, I take it out of the oven. Once I'm good with my color, I take it out of the oven, pull that off, put it back in the oven to let it reach its partial cure. Once it gets its partial cure, then I clear over top the whole thing and include it over top of that VIN number. And then the VIN number shines through the clear powder. So that's the process I go. If it's, if it's powder coated, it's going to take me a little bit longer to, to do it because I really don't want to risk the, the VIN number getting blasted off or come back in a way that I don't necessarily want it. So... We're gonna get this other one, the plastic's taken off and get it stood up here in a little bit. So we have, like I said, the other one, the one parked back there. Now we have the other one standing up here straight and it is just, now this is not attached. It is just sitting up on there with some zip ties. So don't let this fool you into thinking that this is crooked, but this is another straight frame and we're all good. Let's turn around and look at it. All right, frame straight up and down. Looks great and wonderful. OEM gas tank. We do have our piece of aluminum in there just as we get the shock sent out and get them rebuilt. And everything looks really good. I think there is a couple of bolts that I'm going to have to take out. One here. Up there, I think that one's going to have to come out. And just a couple of things here and there. Nothing crazy. Stock arms, everything is in here, and this is gonna this is gonna turn out to be a really nice setup once we're done with it as well. But it's gonna go back into the corner, stacked on top of that one. We're just trying to get things out of the way until we get, you know, something finished. So yeah, so once we get those two back away, we'll get this one finished here. Then I'm hoping to be working on the frame that's gonna be coming in. There'll be two frames coming. We'll figure out what to do with that. I know one of them is going to get powdered, and that's going to be the 99 that we're going to be doing. The other one that's going to be coming in is the J-Arm. We're going to get it powdered too, powder too. Probably try to get it hung up on the wall or something so it's kind of out of the way until we get everything else done. But I'm just trying to dig in these bins, get everything together so I can get this motor that came with this stuff powder coated and then assembled and put away so we can be ready to put that motor and everything into the 99 then we'll have these two fresh rollers here that will be ready for motors, exhausts, and things like that. All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and just get this one wrapped up. We have both machines kind of stacked up where they should be and everything looks good. I stripped the VIN number off the other side just to make sure it is what it's supposed to be. And it is, it is an 06, but that powder, that blaster, I've got a little handheld blaster, it works. Absolutely wonderful, but gotta make sure I get that dry as possible so it doesn't rust. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and be done with the video. 
So I don't have everyone confused. We'll be having two 99s and we'll have one black 06. And we'll be starting to work on those in the future, one at a time, not multiple. And we will be finishing up this 95 right here. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. And you can follow the next build along with us. All right, so check out the, since I already said 95, let's check out the 95 right here. Let's go ahead and check out that 421 that I did over there. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh.